Look at that, y'all. Hey, y'all. My name is Camille, and I want to welcome you back to my palace. Today at the palace, we have a wash and go video for y'all. This video has been highly requested because, as y'all know, wherever I go, when I have my natural curly hair out, I get stopped and it's like, hey, how'd you get your hair like that? What products did you use? Any specific technique? How can I get mine like that? It's really pretty. And I want to say thank you for everybody that's ever stopped me, for everybody who's ever asked how, any questions, girls and guys, I want to thank you. Um, but today I am going to be spilling the tea for you. So this video is going to be in-depth video so you can see not just me telling people in person, oh, I use this product or that. I kind of switch up my products at times, but here's technique on how I do it and how you can achieve curls like this. But be mindful, everybody's hair is different, so this is what works for me. And you're going to have to play around with a few products and see what works for you. But before we get started, y'all know the drill. Y'all know. Y'all know y'all gotta like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you're notified every time I upload, okay? All right, now we can jump right into the video. All right, y'all, so I washed my hair, deep conditioned my hair, and then put it into sections, four sections, straight down the middle and across. And I'm gonna work on one section at a time. First, starting with detangling. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna use for this wash and go. First, I'll wide tooth comb, because we got some detangling to do, and I have coarse hair. When I go in with my detangling, I'm gonna start off with the Curl Enhancing Smoothie Shea Moisture. I also have a water bottle, spray bottle. I use this because like now my hair's been in section and I did some other stuff before I came to do my hair. So just to give it that moisture and help detangle, we're gonna wet it. And then for our gel and to hold, we're gonna be using Extreme Gel. This was once called Wet Line. So if you hear me say Wet Line, gel same thing your stream gel you can get it from the beauty supply store you can get this from dollar general i was in a beauty supply store they had none the girl was like go to dollar general they have it and it's cheaper so yeah this also comes in like the tub container I had that before um but yeah so once i take it out i'm gonna go ahead and wet it give it some moisture um and then i'm gonna go in with that shea moisture I'm going to use a generous amount, and we're going to put it on that hair. And I kind of like to split this section up into two. If you have clips, go ahead and bring them bad boys out and use it. For now, I'm just going to be using these scrunchies because they work just as well or the same. Go ahead and put that up. I'm going to work on the bottom section. I'm going to add even more spilling, but I'm going to add even more shea moisture to it. When I first started doing my hair for wash and goes and stuff, I used different brushes and different things, but now I kind of just go ahead and detangle with my wax tooth comb and then go in with my hands with everything else. Smooth, simple enough. Make sure my roots have some. Like I said, I do use a good amount of product. Spray it with the water. Just that good consistency. And as y'all can see, we already got some curls trying to form. And then I go on with my extreme. And I'm gonna use a good amount of that. And I kind of put it in generously so that it can hold. But I also like to go through and separate my hair. Not like completely, but make sure, you know, good strands get gel on it because it holds better. And I don't like a whole lot of frizz in mine. So small sections to work on are definitely better. Especially if you have coarse hair like me. Can y'all see how that's laying? 
do y'all see like some of it is more defined than others see the back part you can kind of see more of the frizz so i just like to go through with my hand separate and spread out But yes, can y'all see that? Also with washing goes, you get some shrinkage and eventually, to be honest, you'll learn to love it. So back here for the upper part, I'm wetting it. I'm going in with my Shea Moisture, generous amount. And we're putting all that in on your hair. I'm going over with my wide tooth comb, okay? And I'm starting at the bottom for detangling. Always start at the bottom. And then working our way up. Going back in with my wet line gel. Continue to break it off in a little section. Throw that gel on there. See that any white that you have, extra product that's gonna go away. Promise as it dries. But look, ain't them curls popping? Look at that, y'all. Anyway. And on to our next section. We'll work with the upper section so y'all can see even close how we get this done. Give it a little spray. section this bad boy into two we're going to tie this one up this upper section we're going to work with this okay go back in with our shea moisture Rub that on this section. Going with a wide tooth comb. Detangling time. Going in with that wet line gel. Also, you can get the wet line gel in different colors, if I'm not mistaken. Clear, green. I think I had them all. Or is it a greenish blue? I don't remember. I think I use them all and I, I don't really have a preference or it doesn't matter to me. More of that gel. Put it in through. We're using our hand as a comb.
All right, y'all, we're on our fourth quarter. And this is where I like to do my part at. So I kind of split it where I know I'm going to like have my part somewhere up in here. Okay. And then I go on with a comb. You see how a rat tail comb? That might be better for this. But it's going with your rat tail comb and straighten it up. And we have our lower section and then our top section. I'm going to put the lower section right now in the scrunchie. I'm going to go ahead and spray this top section with the water. And throw a little bit of our gel in there. I mean, not our gel, our shea moisture. And detangle. All right, y'all, so all done, just so y'all can really see the curls. Tell me, tell me that ain't fire. But in order to get this, you really gotta find products that work for you. Take your time when you're doing it, detangle it, uh, gel each section, just make sure your product hits the strands and it curls up, your natural curl pattern. This is me just doing my hair. As the week goes on, you'll see volume hit more. Um, which I love. I think second day hair is probably pretty bomb for me. Um, and it'll get longer at night. I put my hair up in a pineapple. That helps stretches it a little bit. But also, don't let shrinkage make you not do wash and goes. Because embrace you, embrace your hair, embrace how God made you. Okay, you'll learn to love it, I promise. Before I end off this video, though, I'm going to take this Jamaican black castor oil. And I'm going to put it in there just for shine purposes, extra shine purposes. I dump a little on my hand. This stuff is actually pretty kind of thick, not going to lie. Um, rub it, and then I'm just going to scrunch, as you would say. I prefer to let my hair air dry i know some people come in and they say oh diffusers and all of that if that works for your hair do your thing but for me uh, -uh. when i air dry this is tea for y'all when i air dry yeah my curls be doing anything make sure you get your edges part all over okay and then if you are air drying, once you do it, that's it. Like, don't touch it. Don't lay down on it. You don't want to smash your curls because it's still wet, you know, or damp. And you don't want to have your curl pattern fold as it being smashed against the sheets or whatever. So I try to do my hair on days that it's really hot. So if I can go outside in the heat to get it, even though today it's not hot at all. Or days where I'm going to be doing other stuff, so moving around, not really laying down. But yes, if you enjoyed this hair tutorial, this wash and go, if you like the way these curls look, if you're going to try it out on yourself, be sure to smash that like button. I put y'all on real tea here. I'm telling y'all, a lot of people come to me, they stop me. How you get your curls to get like that? Your hair looks good. X, Y, and Z. And... I'll be trying to help them out, but I think this video, y'all get to see real in detail what I do. So, yes, and then other people will come and ask you, and you can just relay the message, and we keep on moving as a family, helping others, right? So, y'all, I had just got asked about my hair, my products, and what I used to do with them. Y'all, so this is currently three-day hair. I just want y'all to see. Can y'all see how, like, detailed the texture is? Three day hair. Um, I like the way it falls. It gets a little bigger as the days go on. 
I love that. And it's not really a crunch or anything. It's just really defined wash and go. So if you like this look, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Resend this video to like five people, okay? So they can get good hair as well. And other than that, thanks for watching. Bye guys.